watching Scout Look Weathers Whitetail Slam. Dr. Harry Jacobson, with help from biologists Brian Murphy, Kip Adams, and Dr. James Kroll, took the 38 whitetail subspecies found in North America and categorized them into the eight subgroups, which are the identified whitetail slam regions as shown on this map. Although whitetails found near the borders of these areas are similar, these eight territories best illustrate the different characteristics of whitetails based on the habitats in which these animals have adapted. The goal of a whitetail slam is to harvest four whitetail bucks, one buck from any four of the eight defined territories. To complete a whitetail slam, only bucks can be registered and any legal buck will qualify. However, in keeping with quality deer management practices, whitetail slam urges the harvesting of mature bucks. Antler size is not considered as a criteria in the whitetail slam. The history of whitetail hunting tells the story of a history of hunting period. When the first human beings got to the North American continent, whether it be Native Americans and then later on the Europeans that came. The white-tailed deer represented a food source. As we went through the North American wildlife management experience, we destroyed habitat by converting it to agriculture. We overshot a lot of these species of deer, especially whitetails, and the populations declined. Without question, one of the darkest moments for modern wildlife management occurred from the late 1860s through the early 1900s. And that was a period that was uh, really uh, defined by unregulated market hunting in contrast to what we have today, but also a massive deforestation. And that was, those two things were going on to fuel the developing markets on the east and west coasts of America. They were in great need of food and, and, and fiber for, for production. But we also saw an increased pressure on white-tailed deer and a few other game species with respect to hide sales, particularly to Europe. And there were many markets along the uh, East Coast that regularly shipped tens of thousands of whitetail skins annually to Europe. And in fact, the term a buck, a dollar bill, actually came from a buck skin from that era. So that's the terminology we use today. That's a great from about 1900 to 1970s, we saw a remarkable recovery, uh, guided by our state wildlife agencies, by hunters, by conservationists, to restore and reestablish whitetails across the continent. Once conservation stepped in and the restoration of the deer, we saw a change from subsistence hunting, depending on deer as a food source, to what I call recreational hunting as a return to our roots. We saw the development of a hunting heritage in this country where you had families going out and hunting together, old buddies that every year would go out. We've got a, a tremendous number of women coming to this sport now. I'm so excited about that because those women coming to hunting means that the families come into hunting. And if we're going to have hunting in the future, we're going to have to keep it a family thing, a family and close friend thing. As long as we keep that historic hunting group together, I think it's got a great future. What do you think? Like it. <laughs> you like it, huh? Start your quest for the slam and register for the giveaways only at Whitetail Slam.